And hello again everyone and welcome back to The Longest Journey. If you remember last time, April has successfully defeated Roper Clax, the evil alchemist who had stolen the wind. And she is now making her way back to Mercuria so she can convince Captain Nebeve to take her down to the island of Elias. And so, well, that's kind of straightforward for once. So let's just catch up with April outside of Mercuria and continue with The Longest Journey. And here we are in the outside of town, so let's just head back inside. And since we're talking to Captain Nebeve, he's down here at the pier. Whoops. Kind of getting into Nebeve's personal space there, aren't you, April? Captain Nebeve? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Where have you been? Where have I... Don't you remember? I went north to find Roper Clax and get him to release the wind. Oh, I. You know, the wind did pick up mysteriously last night, but... Uh, but what? I don't trust it to not die down in a few hours. Or at the most, a day or two. But I destroyed the alchemist. I even set his prisoners free from the rock they were trapped in. Destroyed the soul stone. Sailed back here in his floating castle and... And you don't believe a word of it, do you? Not a word. Great. Well, you gotta admit, April, that is kind of a... Oh yes, I defeated the... Uh, uh, I defeated the evil alchemist, which is apparently not that easy for me to say. Um, freed all of his in-stone prisoners, sailed the castle back... Yeah, it does sound a little... Okay, yeah. I did defeat Roper Clax. Uh-huh. Do you have his severed head somewhere on you? I beat him. I didn't say I killed him. Of course you didn't. Can we set sail for Elias now? Well, the wind has picked up a bit, but I don't trust the good weather to last. I don't want to be sitting dead in the water come tomorrow afternoon, so I'll wait a few days more. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, we actually can't convince him by talking to him, but we have the wind still. Captain Nebeve? Huh? I got something you want. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? I. Um, remind me what the deal was again. That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. <laughs> sure. <laughs> The day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. Well, look at this. <sighs> oh, hi, Crow. <sighs> By the balance, girl, that's a strong grog you got there. What is it? Tyron Spice Wine? It's the wind. Watch this. <laughs> Sweet! Jah, that's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic, we could make good time to Guien. Pick up a cargo full of apples and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. Sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised. Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Don't you know that Jowl has forbidden women from riding the waves? Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me. But it's your choice. I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. I've run out of curses, girl. Jaw be damned I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. 
It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jaw myself. Fine. We lost poor Crow again a few minutes ago, but yeah. Captain Nebeve is surprisingly flexible in his, um, religious beliefs. Or perhaps not flexible. He just bends under pressure. Alright, let's head back into town. And hire the navigator. Now, if I remember correctly, she's supposed to be hanging out at the Journeyman Inn. So we need to go over there. What's this guy doing right here? Sunbathing? Okay, whatever. Right into the city. Alright. Journeyman Inn is here. And since I can't interact with this person at all, we're going to assume it's this person. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm sorry, young woman, but I do not wish to speak with anyone presently. All right. Well, fortunately, we have something she wants, too. We have the map of the Northlands. Pardon me for intruding, ma'am, but is your name Tunlayak? Yes, I'm Tunlayak. I have a delivery for you. Oh, a map of the Northlands. I had almost forgotten I ordered it. Sorry about that. I came by a few days ago, but you weren't here. No, no, I was looking for work. <sighs> Thank you kindly, young woman. I will need this map now, if I am to make it to Khorasan by foot. Why are you going to Khorasan by foot? I can ill afford the cost of passage on a ship bound for the Bay of Fire. And since I do not have a job, nor the prospect of getting one, I have little choice. Are you from Khorasan? No, I am from the Southlands. I have never been to Khorasan. Then why are you going there? Because I am told that in Khorasan, captains allow women to join their crew. Here, in Mercuria, they do not. So I've been told, but you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get a job. That just isn't fair. Fair or not, it is custom, and custom is a difficult thing to change. Why are you so depressed? Is it that apparent to you? I do beg your pardon. It was not my intent to burden you with my dark mood. It's okay, I don't mind. I'd like to help if I can. I do not think you can. Unless you were the captain of a ship, and you could hire me as your navigator. But you are not. And so you cannot help me. You know, I don't know why it takes April so long to get to the point here. There's a long conversation tree here all about um, Tun Layak saying that I can't get a job as a navigator. April knows that Nebeve is higher, needs a navigator, but she has to go through the entire conversation tree before she will bring that up. You are a navigator? Yes. And I have a letter to prove it. Do you want me to show it to you? No, I believe you. And you're looking for a job? I have been looking, now, for many moons. But most captains do not want women on their crew. And so I am leaving for Coruscant in the morning. Now she finally gets around to bringing it up. I got a job for you, if you want it. A job? As a navigator? Yeah, on a boat called the White Dragon. We're leaving this afternoon, if you're interested. If you are serious, then yes. I am more than interested. But will the captain allow a woman as his navigator? This one will, trust me. Because if he doesn't, he's not going anywhere. Just pack your stuff and head down to the docks. Talk to Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Tell him I sent you. The name's April Ryan. Thank you, April. I am Tun Layak. I am most grateful to you. Will you be going with us? Yeah, so I'll see you there. Thank you so much. Why did Tun Layak introduce herself to April again? I mean, April had already found out who she was and given her the map earlier. That... 
I don't know. That entire conversation tree just seems really... Boy, that woman moves fast when she gets out of Journeyman, doesn't she? Um, that whole conversation tree just seems like... I don't know. I mean, I guess all the information was important for a world-building point of view and that sort of thing. It's just that it seems like it could have gone a little better. All right, let's head on up to the marketplace and tell the map merchant that we've done the map. Now, we're going to be in a bit of a problem here because we supposedly had to get the delivery list signed afterwards. And we didn't because we lost it back at the swamp. There Remember? you are. I'm in a mind to fire you. I expect you still haven't delivered the map of the Northlands to Tun Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. I took care of that delivery ages ago. Really? Well, then I can finally fire you. You're the most incompetent errand boy I've ever had. Give me the delivery list and get out of here. Uh, I think I left that list somewhere far away. Ye gods, not only do I have to deal with your incompetence, but now the guild will skin my hide and hang it up to dry. And basically, that's it. You just, no conversation, you just have to show up and be told, okay, you're fired. So, okay. At least we don't have to worry about that anymore. While we're here, we may as well check in at the temple and see how Vestrum Tobias is doing. Never noticed that brightly patterned tin over here before. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Tobias isn't here. He must be over here somewhere. In the back. Where we have all the stuff written. Oh, there he is. You have returned from your trip north. It is good to see you again. I was concerned. You're worried about little old me? That's sweet. And guess what? I kicked some alchemist ass while I was up there. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to do that. Then you have lost your wager. I knew you would. After all, you are... I was worried because of the trouble in the West. What trouble? The Tyran. They left the city all as one, the evening before yesterday, and many of the vanguard with them. I fear there are dark times ahead. You don't mean war, do you? War, yes. It has been an age and a half since our last war with the Tyran. But relations have always been strained, and now, Whipped into religious fervor by the vanguard, the Tyran are thirsty for blood and for revenge. They are a people bound by violence and without honor, and easily seduced by the prospect of a holy war. God, that's horrible. But the city's safe, isn't it? It's a big city. Yes, but unfortunately not well armed. Mercuria has not seen war for centuries, and people grow soft, forget how to fight. It can easily be taken by a strong army, and so I fear our safety, and yours. They missed an opportunity for a war. War never changes life, but okay. What did you mean when you said, after all, you are... Forgive an old man his misgivings, April, but I should have trusted you before. Of course you should have. With what? With the truth. That you are the one who will watch over us for a thousand years. That you are of the balance, and the balance is in you. That you are the one born into the heaviest duty of them all. You are the guardian to be, April. The thirteenth guardian of the balance. No! No, that's a lie. I'm not your guardian. That's not possible. It is certain. I had my doubts, unfortunately. It could have cost us the balance, and I made a mistake. But it is certain now. You are stronger in the balance than anyone before you. God damn, Cortez! He didn't say anything about... If I'd known, I wouldn't have come here. I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have come here. Maybe he did not know. Or maybe he did. And he knew it would be wiser not to tell you. 
But I am telling you now because you cannot stay here. You are too valuable. You must leave. Well, fortunately, we're leaving. I am leaving for Elias this afternoon. Good. The Tyran are not a seafaring people. And the islands are probably the safest place to be right now. Before you go, I want to give you something to carry with you. I spent the night looking for it in the Enclave. It has been gathering dust for over 10,000 years. Oh, Tobias, I can't accept anything that old. You are not accepting it. It is yours. The Fathers have only kept it safe for the day when the 13th Guardian would come to collect it. And now you are here. Please, take it. It is the Talisman of the Balance. Known to but a few, it is mentioned in one text only. The Scriptures of Reunification, one of the Thirteen Scriptures of the Balance. What does it do? The Scripture speaks not of its purpose, but it is yours, whatever it is. I am certain it will help you once you find its purpose. It has strong magic, very strong. Thanks, Tobias. I really do appreciate it, even though I wish I didn't have to accept it. You are the Guardian, child. Your fate is both glorious and terrible. But it is your fate. If you deny it, you deny our future. But I have faith in you, April. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I screw up? The balance provides. The balance protects. Trust the balance and trust yourself. Goodbye. And good luck on your journey. And anyone who keeps track of your various tropes knows that things are probably not going to end well for um, Best from Tobias now. Because he's said his goodbye to the Chosen One, as it were. Um, okay, so is April the next Guardian of the Balance? What happened to Gordon Holloway, the people back in Stark that the Church of Voltec has been working with, the one who they think is the next Guardian of the Balance. What happened to him? Is it really April? Is the Church of Voltec after the wrong person? Who knows? Well, the thing is, right now there's an invading army heading for us here in, um, here in Mercuria, so maybe we better get out of the way. So, I guess it's a good thing we restored the wind for the boat. So we're going to go down to the boat and keep going from there. Alright, we're back here. This kind of plays out automatically from this. Uh, this is kind of a short session, but that's okay. This is just the way the breakpoints are lining up. So let's talk to Nepave and get underway. Finally, we are ready. And we must away before it's too late. We still have another six or seven hours of daylight today. Come, come aboard. Um, can your boat not sail at Did night? Did I tell you how much I hate water? No. Well, remind me to tell you sometime. You just did. Does the boat not sail at night? I mean, how does that work? Well, anyway, as I said, this is the end of the chapter, so I think I'm going to break here. Anyway, we'll watch... April sail off on the White Dragon away from Mercuria, heading for Elias. Uh, we'll catch up with you next time on the journey. So in the meantime, uh, April's already getting sick. In the meantime, this is Dennis. I am Tanstaffel the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.